Hey everybody, I wanted to take a video today of uh, something pretty cool that I got in that I've been working on for quite a while. This is a Microsoft Project Olympus V2 motherboard that I got from a friend of mine through a trade. Now, he never had this going, but I ended up building all of the pieces to get it, air quotes, get it going. However, I'm having some trouble actually getting display out of it. So, basically, with this board, we have a power supply here. We have to rewire it all, so half of it is 12 volt, and then half of it is black up on the connector there. And that's really about it for the power. I did wire a couple fans just on 12 volt, or sorry, 5 volt there, simple. Uh, another issue with this board is that we have to have the 3647 cooler, which I don't have, so I made my own coolers. I know that these are good because the board will not post, post, again, with air quotes, with the basic, you know what I mean, if, if you don't have the cooler hooked up properly, the, uh, the, the system just won't start up. We won't get to the air code that we are at now. So we can verify that by making sure everything is bolted down on here now. So anyway, as far as this board, I don't know why I can't get video out of it. I've tried basically everything I can imagine with this. I originally had one CPU, now I have two. I know that the board is doing something because we have this air code 147, which with the AMI codes, I know that that is a initiating PCI device. But what's really weird is that I have a, a video card plugged in here, just a Radeon, uh, like a 5450 derivative of that. And I know it's doing something and I know the board is running because see if I press caps lock on my keyboard here, I actually can do, do that. And uh, we see that the caps lock is going. So I know this machine is running. Uh, just an explanation of the LEDs here, going off what I have. This is kind of like the little Knight Rider LEDs. They are kind of like the, the health of it but uh, all those are lit up. Again, that's my postcode. That's just a, to show that the power supply is on. And then here we look, if you see those three LEDs there, basically the top one is standby power, the middle one is five volts on the standby, or sorry, the middle one is, uh, is the 12 volt on, and then the third light is that the system is booting. And that one blinking there in the middle now, that's the heartbeat LED. So I know that this is, is running. Uh, something really strange with this board is that these LEDs sometimes come on when it's started up. I don't know. I'm running this without uh, a BIOS battery in it, so I believe it should clear the settings every time. I have played with all these jumpers. Uh, they're all at the stock positions, I believe now, you know, all, all stock. I've used the backup BIOS. I've tried removing the Cerberus module from this, but I cannot get it to post with, well, not, not to post. I, I believe it's running. I just can't get video out of it. So like even here, if I do control, let's do control the leak for you here. Choose my middle finger or my little finger. We'll initiate the board to reboot here and I'll show you what it does. So basically we start out with these codes here. You'll see right now I, I did just like a soft reboot, I guess, warm reboot. So the light will stay on. However, when we do this here, you'll see our, our lights blink through sequence. Come on, focus for me. And then actually this time it was, this time was very quick. It did a reboot there in about five seconds but uh it's still it's still stuck at that postcode and no no video so if anybody has any sort of insight on this let me reboot it again here just to show you to go through those uh go through those codes blinks there for a second and this time it's it's interesting because it actually it'll go through our light sequence and then it goes back to the 147 code almost instantly but again, no, no video. Now, what's really strange is that even if I have the video card unplugged, I get that same air. So I don't know if there's an issue with this board or if there's an issue with something else. Let me show you that real quick. So I'll shut this guy off here. Let's go around here and check our, check our heat on my homemade heat sinks. And they do all right, considering what they are. We'll take our GPU out of here. I'll just do this with one hand if I can, while the video's still going. Come on. This is easier. A lot easier with two hands. There we go. So now our, our video card is removed. We'll power the system back up and now it's it's from cold. So you'll see here, this is the catastrophic air LED. So what the board does is it'll light that up kind of on, on, a, on a cold reboot. It starts with that. You see that just went away there now. We will have our LEDs for the post. Again, to go back to this one, you'll see that the standby and then the 12 volt is on. 12 volt means that the CPUs are starting up. If, uh, if there's an error with the CPU, that 12 volt will turn on and then off. I know this because I had a, I had a bad CPU that I bought off eBay for this. 
And as soon as a 12 volt went, it would just click the machine actually off and it would actually shut the power supply off, which was very, very strange. But, uh, and also kind of concerning. But uh, anyway, I've tried this without, I'm just gonna power it up to show you guys what it does with the video card unplugged as well. And then you'll see too, which it might do it still, but those lights are off for whatever reason. So we get this kind of two LED code first. It does that. I find the board will sometimes also shut off and then restart itself. Really, really weird. Uh, another thing to note with this is that I was using G Skill 2400 megahertz DDR4 RAM that was like a gaming RAM, which seemed to work fine. I got to that same area with the thing not booting with one CPU. However, when I put the second CPU in, I had to use ECC RAM. So this is actually a 2133 RAM out of my own system that are two 16 gig sticks, which is weird because this processor supposedly is only says DDR4 2400, but I am using the slower RAM and it seems to be okay. So you'll see it going through the blink little setup here. You'll see there, it just, it just restarted itself. There's our lights in the bottom right corner again. If you can see at the top there, BMC going. I believe this board actually starts up. Uh, there's there's a, the LEDs again at the, the, uh, the these ones for the, the blade attention. Yes, it, it definitely needs attention. But why this doesn't run is is beyond, not that it doesn't run, why this doesn't give a video output signal is, is beyond me. I'm getting the, the air with the LED, the PCI initiation air, as you'll see here, it's going through its reboot cycle again. But why it won't, why it won't do that is beyond me. The video card is supposed to be in that slot. I've tried it in every other slot. I've tried jumper settings. I've done one CPU, two CPUs. CPUs I know are good now and running, but uh, it, it seems to be working. Another strange issue is that right now, so see, there it is again, with, there's, that, there's that same code with the video card unplugged. Oh my God, if this thing would just stay focused, I don't know why it can't focus on, the, on what I'm doing, but uh, there's that same air, basically the same as before, number 147. Please, can you focus on what I'm shooting? My God, you, you think the P30 Pro phone would actually like have some sort of proper thing without me having to, to tap it to focus every 10 seconds, but same, again, Wow, that, that, that's, that's such a great video, such in focus. But uh, the, same, the same issue again with that air code. And then one last thing I'll show on here is that if we come around to our keyboard again, watch, we'll press caps lock and there's our, there's our caps lock button. But another thing, I'm gonna aim at this here. And if I press F2 on the keyboard, we get this setup, or sorry, this, this LED, which is in the setup and it means waiting for user input. So I'm in setup now. Again, if I press control, I'll delete. Gotta put it down there. The board goes into reboot. So I know it's working. I just can't get video. So if anybody has any suggestions or help, I've had help from a guy on the serve, the home forums, like I roll it was really great, but unfortunately it was not able to find a solution for this. Try as I might, I really wanna get video out of this. I don't know anybody else who has one of these or has one running besides like some stupid data center in the middle of nowhere or Toronto, I guess, but uh, yeah, if anybody has any help, I'd love to get this putting out video and I'd love to make a video on it on how to do so. So anyway, thank you for viewing and any help for this is much appreciated. Take care.